Welcome to 5 Minutes with Arun, a podcast that documents insightful conversations with entrepreneur, social innovator, and design thinking evangelist Arun Jain. Arun is an early adopter of design thinking in India and a front runner in its application. Catch more of him on YouTube, Facebook, and thethinking.com. That's the-thinking.com. Join us now with Arun Jain. When you design the music, how many notes are there? Seven. With seven notes, you are able to compose how many kind of music? How many ragas can you compose? Thousands of them? Un- unlimited? Similarly, we have 13 notes of design thinking. So I'll just go through the 13 notes one by one. Skill is the first note because skill is the fundamental of it. Because skill is the one thing which drives a particular professional divergence for the design. So first is a skill. What is the skill? How do we see the skill? To particular task, if you have a knowledge packet, so all the knowledge packets, how they get connected, what is the sequence of the connection, how they are relationship with each other, that's the skill. The skill is a very fundamental way of organizing the knowledge into structured fashion and that structured fashion to be disseminated. When you repeat this work again and again, then it becomes expertise. The expertise is a repetition of the same activity third note of design thinking is a perspective what is perspective it's a bird eye view it's a it's a aerial view of the same situation aerial view is your perspective deeper view is your expertise so for solving any problem solving you need to go deeper and you need to go aerial Somebody says th- design thinking is 360 degree problem solving. So 360 degree will come from going deeper and going aerial. Fourth is what is idea? So you are thinking about the problem and suddenly problem solve. It's a spark. What is that spark happens? Is it happen in your mind? You feel some spark happening in your mind? It means some neurons get connected. New connection happens. But in, you feel it also. So now a motor which runs on a horizontal plane and when you start making motor running on a vertical, it becomes elevator. It's a small idea, you're just connecting a dot. So when you connect the dot in a new pattern, it's an idea. Amazon has connected the commerce onto the internet, then it becomes e-commerce. And fifth is your alignment. Alignment is aligning all the four forces, skill, expertise, perspective, idea, if you align them together and fly together like a flying past, it becomes my fifth node. So these are five forces of design thinking. Skill, expertise, perspective, ideas, and alignment. So these are five elements which is required for solving any problem. If you have only experts sitting there, sometimes problem doesn't get solved. Healthcare problem cannot be solved only by surgeon because he has expertise, but he may not have a perspective perspective of commercial management, perspective of building management, perspective of infrastructure management, perspective of legal issues. You need a medical administrator along with surgeon to solve the healthcare problem. CPI is the five elements of design thinking which enables the design thinking. But there is a five frictional forces too. But what is the friction? Friction good or bad? Breaking is a where the friction is good and where is bad? It starts the motion. It's contextual in nature. Our mind says friction is bad. The first response of friction is it retards us. Sometimes there are some forces which works on us. First such force is a doubt. Confuses the outcome of some sort of a doubt. Clarity is missing is a doubt. It's about uncertainty. It's about indecisive. You're not able to make a decision. And sometimes you're looking for approval. Second is conflict. What is the source of conflict or what is the definition of conflict? If you go into the word conflict, what is the definition of it? Difference of opinion, difference of perspective, expectations are different. So I would say there are three sources of conflict can happen. Difference of opinion, a mother and daughter can have a difference of opinion, a father and son have a difference of opinion, a spouse can have a difference of opinion. Mother and father can have different opinion. Teacher and student can have different opinion. It's an opinion difference. But normally we don't 
treat as an opinion difference, we take offense. We believe somebody who is differing my opinion is offensive to me. But conflict in Indian thinking process, in Indian household, has been always seen as a suppress under the carpet. We constantly say, please don't have a conflict with your sibling, your brother, your sister, your, or please understand, don't have a conflict. We don't say, understand his opinion. When there is a difference of opinion happen in the classroom, we say, don't have a conflict with the two groups. And the remedy for that is a dialogue. Dialogue is the only way to resolve the difference of opinion. Third, is, third force is force of anger. In what situation anger is good? For alignment, this becomes an important force because when you have to align 20 different viewpoints, at some point in time you need to express yourself and if somebody is not complying to it, you may have to use anger as a... But anger is a built-in part of our thinking process. And different people have a different tolerance levels. The higher the tolerance level is, better we are as a human being as a thinking process because during the anger process, we become clouded, our thinking process become totally clouded. So our land, we end up taking a foolish decision. Source of anger is a disappointment. Anything which is not done as per your expectation creates a disappointment. A cumulative disappointment and quantity of disappointment is a anger. Fourth element is a fear. Fear, what is fear? So fear is a of going wrong or failure or commitment or unknown. A lot of times fear is of unknown. If fear is known, you will overcome it. If you are able to know why the fear is emerging, you will have a answer, logical mind to answer that fear. When it is unknown, you have only feeling in the gut feeling. You say gut fear, feeling in the gut. To counter the fear is the courage, what we call leadership, courage. What is ego? I am always right. So what is coming from? So my source of ego is, I, I know, know it all. Overconfidence is the outcome of it, but source of it is a, I know it all, a humility. You can receive the knowledge and give out the knowledge. It becomes humility, acceptance to learn. So these five angles, which we call doubt, conflict, anger, fear and ego, we call decaf. Decaf is a coffee without a caffeine, just to remember. So these are five forces which works along with the five CPR. So if these 10 forces are there, there are 10 nodes on thinking process. And that's it for now. Visit us on dthinking, that's d-thinking.com and follow us on YouTube and Facebook. Stay tuned for more from Arunjay. Till next time, goodbye.